Hello and welcome to another edition of Freedom Fighters. I'm Nathan, Mortgage Advisor here at MMF, and today's episode we will be talking about an upcoming event which is very dear to the My Mortgage Freedom team, the annual March With Me held by the Love Me Love You Foundation. Today we'll have myself, Abby and Sean speaking a little bit about the foundation and how it all came about for us. So enjoy. Love Me Love You is a non-profit organization that educates our youth around mental health. They've got education programs that run through schools to teach our kids that it's okay to not feel so good all the time and where to go for help. Uh, Love Me Love You Foundation is a not-for-profit organisation that attends community clubs, schools, workplaces now and uh, sports clubs. They go in and I've seen it firsthand educating the, the, the people on um, pro trying to remove the stigma around mental health and making people feel comfortable to speak. Uh, the foundation definitely. was established back in 2013 by Lance Piccioni, former AFL star who suffered his own battles with mental health off the field. I heard about Love Me Love You because Lance used to be one of my coaches at my local football club, so I was really stoked that when I first joined MMF, I found out that the company supported the cause too. Mental health Mark, for me, um, having had my own struggles uh, in my early 20s and, and overcoming them, I can understand what, how much it can set a person back so being involved in something like this and being able to do something um, every year to raise awareness and raise money to go to foundations like love me love you is super important i think it would be good if more people could get access to these groups and the only way they're going to do that is if these groups succeed in what they do everyone in some shape or form has been affected by mental illness whether it's yourself personally or someone around you it's just so common these days I think education around this topic is so important with organisations like Love Me Love You. We collectively together are breaking the stigma around the mental health illness. Mental health is slowly being talked about more and more these days and it's actually okay to not feel so good and talk up and tell people how you're feeling. Mental health and wellbeing is out and out the most important thing in people's lives. It directly affects people's motivation, overall happiness and ability to live the, a fulfilling life which is what everybody wants and of course, everybody deserves. For me personally, I'm quite a stress head at heart and being a mortgage broker sometimes is like putting fuel to the fire. So mental health is top of my priority and it's something that I work on on a daily basis. So Having a healthy routine of exercise and keeping up with my social life, doing things that make me happy, like being at a job I love and surrounding myself with supporting and positive people. I know a lot of people say uh, they, they right. take a break and for me, taking a break um, in the general sense of going and relaxing, sitting, sitting on a beach doesn't really work for me. So I stay active. I think that's probably the most important thing. Um, shit loads of exercise is, is definitely up there for um, good mental health. Um, so whether even it's a short like walk on the beach, going to gym, catching up with friends, especially moving my body every day. Otherwise, Mrs. Anxiety pees her head and it's not good company for anyone. People. Um, also, I think it's important not to sweat the small stuff. And when I'm starting to have negative thoughts, I stop, breathe and think, is it really that bad? To try and not let small things get to me because life is much more important than that. Even things like, like diet and well-being and just paying attention to what your body's telling you. Your body's always going to let you know if, you, if you're not doing well and you should take that seriously and not let it be uncomfortable for a long period of time because it'll continue to fester until it sort of implodes. This will be my third march with me. I joined forces the first I heard about the organisation. For me, in my late teens, I had a few of my friends end their life as they were not able to speak up or get the help that they needed. And as the years gone, have gone on, unfortunately, it's multiplied. I've done the walk twice now. So in 2017, it was 54 kilometres. And then last year, 2018, was 60 kilometres. And 2018 was easily the hardest mentally and physically because you walked a 30 kilometre track and then had to turn around and do the whole thing again. Uh, this is my fourth march with me. So I did the first one uh, with a couple of mates and it was the 116 kilometre one. Um, Lance said it was about 100. Um, so those extra 16 were extremely painful. The walk, um, the first one well, it's never easy, let me tell you. 60 k's of just flat out walking over one full day. We walk consistently for about 12 hours or so and your feet are literally swollen by the end of it. Each step is just gruelling. And the, especially the last 15 kilometers, you need to mentally prepare yourself for each step. 
but that's the whole point the team have created it so it's not easy because otherwise everyone would do it and they want us to feel the pain and understand what it's like to have a mental illness and it's only just one day we know a lot of people out there are taking on a battle every single day that we have no idea about again so get on but board. what i and the team had to go through on that day was only minuscule compared to what people suffering from mental health illnesses have to go through on a daily basis and that just forms a, a big part of why we do the walk every year. We do it for those who physically and mentally can't do it. Um, the first one was probably the hardest because I didn't realize how difficult it was to walk for 13 hours, two days in a row. Um, the second one I did with my mum and her mate and another couple of mates joined in and obviously the entire company um, came along for that one. That one was probably the most enjoyable um, because we had such a good crew, such good sort of um, support network there with us. And the most difficult thing is definitely not only the physical challenge, but the mental challenge that goes with it. that last five kilometers coming into St Kilda is fucking awful. So that was uh, probably the most difficult point here. Yeah. So now you know a little bit more about the Love Me Love You Foundation and why MMF is getting behind this great cause and we would love for you all to jump on and support us too. Click on the link below and donate. Every dollar helps get us across the finish line. And remember, no one travels their journey alone and you are loved. Thank Over you. and out.